Hey there you guys! Today we're going to be adding some uh, insect control or pest control to, uh, to my uh, grow space. They finally arrived in the mail. Uh, I get this, uh, it's called Grub Grenade. It's only available in Canada and it's on Amazon. Uh, it's a Canadian based uh, a small company. And uh, yeah, it, it, it worked really, really well last year. I did a video on this and, uh, and I was surprised at how well uh, it kept the bugs under control uh, for the majority of the, uh, of the, the season. So what these are, they're beneficial mites. I'll put the name of the mite down below because I can't say it. <laughs> but uh, it basically eats everything in the soil. Uh, everything, all the pests in the soil. And if there's no pests, it, uh, it helps break down the organic material that, that is uh, hanging out in the soil that's, uh, that's like fallen leaves or, or pollen or, or things that have fallen off the plant that they're not eating the plant. So uh, they work really, really well. Again, they eat anything in the soil. So if there's soil-based um, uh, mealybugs, I guess springtails, um, uh, fungus gnat larvae, um, anything that pupates in the soil, it, it will uh, it'll attack, uh, including spider mites. If there's spider mites in the soil, uh, usually you'll find that in uh, in the fall when you bring your plants in. The, the spider mites will come from up above the plant and then move their way down into the into the soil. And if the, the spider mites are in the soil, I've been told that they will um, uh, eat those as well. So, which is really, really weird. And a mite eating a mite, but I guess, whatever, nature is nature. <laughs> so, uh, last year I had uh, very little problems with, uh, with fungus gnats. I might have had one or two flying around, but nothing like in the past. Uh, I didn't have any white fly last year. Even my spider mite infestations uh, with the alocasias, they're spider mite magnets. Uh, I didn't have the problem like I normally do. Usually starting about, about now, I start seeing a little bit of webbing happening on them. And it's just a, a battle that's, uh, that's never ending. And uh, yeah, a lot, of, a lot of problems, a lot of sleepless nights trying to, to get this stuff uh, under control. But last year when I used the, uh, the grub grenade, I don't think I started seeing any, any um, uh, spider mites until late, late in the season. I'm like maybe uh, March, maybe late February I started seeing some, some spider mites uh, uh, doing their thing on the leaves. But all season long I, I had ze almost zero problems. I did um, wipe down the leaves occasionally. But uh, I, I have a feeling that these were getting rid of uh, anything that was in the roots. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, uh, when you get these things, I'll put the link down in the uh, in the description below, just in case you're in Canada and you want to try some sort of a biological control. This size package, um, I don't think that it it shows. There's about 5,000 mites in this, and you want to uh, kind of disperse it through your grow space. Um, if you only have uh, uh, a small amount of plants, say 10 or 15 plants, and they're all clustered together, uh, something like this would work. But they have it on a smaller; uh, they, they have a smaller package. Uh, they're they're used for outside, and you can use them for inside. I used them for inside, and they work great. But yeah, we'll end up dispersing these through the uh, the plants. They don't have to go in every single plant, but if you have plants that that are um, notorious for bugs. You can you can focus on those particular ones. These will move about, and they they'll they'll find the the food source. So uh, you don't have to worry about getting it in every single pot. So it's recommended that you uh, you confuse them a little bit and get them uh, working their way through the bag and uh, wake them up. I could see them last year. I couldn't see them. They were in a cardboard tube last year, and now they've they've switched over to this bag. And uh, I was able to see them crawling around. You wouldn't be able to see them. Like I really have to strain. And then if you if you like a magic eye, uh, <laughs> you can you can sort of see the the soil moving, or the the vermiculite in this case. Uh, so anyway, I've been moving this around, trying to disperse them as much as possible. This little bag does have little vent holes, uh, and it did take one week for it to arrive to my location, to my home and uh, everything seems to be fine. I do see them moving around in here, so usually they try to do uh, like an overnight or next day uh, uh, postage, but uh, with the pandemic going on, uh, sometimes the post time is it it's extended. So they, they look fine, it's taken a week, 
and uh, yeah, I'm ready to open this up and put them in my plants. So for a larger pot, I'm going to use a, a tablespoon or two of the, the mix, but I'm just going to uh, disperse this as best I can in the different areas of the grow room. So let's do that. Okay, so I pre-moistened all of my plants. I don't know that it's necessary, but I didn't want to water my plants later on today and, and wash everybody out. Uh, they'll be fine getting sprinkled on. Uh, it's nature. Watering is nature, so uh, you're not going to hurt them by, uh, by watering them. I just want to get them established before they, <laughs> they get a rainfall. Uh, so I watered everything beforehand. So I just uh, took the plastic zip off the, the top of the, the bag, and now I'm opening it up. Give them some uh, some fresh air. Just going to go in and lightly grab spoonfuls, and I'm just going to sprinkle it on the uh, the soil surface of the pots. After the bag is completely finished, I'm going to take this bag, the empty bag, and I'm just going to lay it on the side of the of a pot somewhere. So any little stragglers that are stuck to the side of the the bag can escape out and I'll, I'll leave it out for, for maybe a couple of weeks. Um, it probably doesn't need to be that long. They're going to look for food. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to sprinkle it on my uh, my most notorious plants for, for bugs. And uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to continue this on my own. I'm going to make sure to put a little bit in the grow tents. I'm going to put them on every little shelf. Um, even if it's just a spoonful on a shelf uh, with some plants. Again, they're going to move around. They're going to make this place their home. They're going to breed. They're going to eat. They're going to um, have a lot of fun. And uh, I'm going to have a more pest-free environment because of it. Again, fungus gnats. If you have a problem with fungus gnats, these are the way to go. <laughs> anyway, until next time, you guys, happy growing.